Beyond the state, everyone needs hearing protection, hard hats, eyeglasses. So what we're looking at here is the main airlock on Unit 5. This airlock is the main entrance point to the Unit 5 reactor building. Inside the concrete wall is uh, the reactor itself, all the fueling components and all the support systems that uh, move the fuel heat from the reactor core to the boilers. When an operator is assigned to Unit 5, the equipment bases are painted pink. They know that they're on the right unit. They use it as an air prevention tool. Here we're entering uh, Unit 6. This is a, a mirror image of Unit 5. Same type of uh, airlock. Uh, all the same equipment inside the reactor building. So every day reactor building operators are going in to uh, perform rounds and routines, monitor equipment, take readings. It operates just like a space station airlock. If, if an individual wants to go into the uh, reactor building, the outer door will open. An individual will enter that door. The door will close behind. Uh, the doors will seal on either side, equalize the pressure, and then on the inside door will open and the individual can access the reactor building on the inside. The stations where our individuals um, put on their personal protective equipment before going into the reactor building. We can remove our hearing protection. I'll turn off the mic for now and we'll uh, go into the control room. Because they're allowed to eat and drink in there, it's uh, kept clean, so we make sure everyone monitors before they bring any papers or themselves into the control room. Yeah. And everyone will have to badge, and as the light turns green, we'll allow you into the control room. Yeah, good. What we'll show you guys here is the control room for our station. My name is Claire Monroe. I am the duty shift manager today. The training to become a uh, control room shift supervisor or a shift manager is approximately a four-year program. We take uh, science fundamentals. We learn the uh, specifics about the equipment here, the logic, and then we also uh, go through simulator training. So uh, about six months worth of uh, worst case scenarios uh, and your response to it. And you really start to develop a process because you really have to be able to respond to anything. Our authorized nuclear operators also will take uh, about four years of training. So the control room shift supervisor sits in the middle so that we can basically see all of the four units. We have a licensed individual at each of the, the panels that you'll see there and they're actually not allowed to leave the operating island unless someone relieves them. So there's always someone in attendance at each of the uh, each of the reactors. You'll see we have an abundance of hand switches and lights and everything like that. Every single one of them has a specific purpose and uh, even though it looks like a lot, uh, these guys and girls know exactly what each and every one of them does. What you're looking at is the uh, digital control computer for Unit 5. It's 80s technology. We're looking to uh, refurbish and replace it with a more modernized uh, digital control system as we move into refurbishment. 82, 83, 84, and 85, just a memory of uh, the first time that they came, came online. Here what you're looking at is the uh, Unit 7 turbine generator set. The big steel pipes, those are the uh, steam lines from the boilers inside the reactor building. They bring the steam in to turn the turbine. What you see here is the high, low pressure turbine spindles that came out of the last unit, uh, unit outage. Uh, they are going to be refurbished and placed in the next unit when we re refurbish the turbine. Steam will come right into the middle of the turbine here uh, through those big steam pipes, the big steel steam pipes you see. Steam comes into the middle and it goes out through these blades. As the steam expands through the turbine, it makes the turbine spin. So that's how we get the steam energy spinning the turbine, which is then connected to the generator. And the output from the generator goes out to our switchyard that you saw out front of the plant, and that goes out to provide electricity to the Ontario grid.